Hello gamers, Softkitty99 here, continuing with the Battle for Azeroth Alpha on the Horde side. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is speak to Nathanos Blightcaller and see if we can... Oh no, it's not Nathanos we have to speak to. He has the exclamation mark of his head. We must turn it into him when we're done. What is it? There you go, our Chris Giver is hidden there by the uh, love rocket. <laughs> well, Met Hunter, my advice to you is this. As you travel the world, be wary of magic, for it will burn the untrained. I'm ready to go to Undercity, please, Isabella. Can you send me? And I'll try not to get burned by magic, honest. Well, it says temporary art, but it does show us the locations. Culturus is here and Zandala is here so they've been fit in the middle sort of in between oh look we're in oh we're actually inside under city as the horde oh interesting so we are do we have a full map no oh look oh yes look this like that it's the battleground map that we had outside when we were alliance look It looks like Saurfang's down this side. Yes. Hello, Saurfang. I like Saurfang. He's such a nice, honourable old orc. I like him. Your mission is to flush the worms out of hiding. Oh, here we go. We have herded the cowards to the mage district and have secured the rest of the city. Your mission is to flush out these worms and eliminate them. Hello, that's a SI7 operative. Kill command in my beautiful pet. Ooh, look at my kitty's bigger than the SI7 agent. Look at that. Good kitty. Hey, Safang, they jumped out on us and tried to kill my kitty. Right, let's see what... Uh, Right, so you'll want us to go and sort out these uh, intruders, do you, sir? Fang, okie dokie. Let me and my kitty deal with them for you. Go, kitty, go, my big pretty kitty, get them. What do you mean I need a target? She's right there, hit her. Oh, let's try the birds. I forgot I took the crows. Oh, dive dummy birds. Did you see that? Well, they kind of come in like a wave from up above your heads and dive bomb them. Oh, that was quite interesting. Let's do that again. Oh, that's quite a nice effect for the birds. Look at that. I like that. That is a nice little graphical effect, that is. And as you can tell, I'm paying much more attention to the things going on around me than I am to my cl my uh, spells and things so I'm not get her my kitty get um get her get them let's send in the birds dive bomb them birdies it's an aerial bombardment of birds they come flying in from the air look at that I love it I like the crows. The crow. I don't. I like the crows. They are fun. Send the crows. Oh, can I? Can I trap you? Yeah. Oh, look, oh, that, that new effect for the trap look. That looks much more reminiscent of the kind of effect you get on the majors for their traps, with the, the shards of ice crystals. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely a lot of new animations on well, some of the spells and things. Like the birds were, are really nice. That is a really nice aerial bombardment effect. I like the birds. Get them, kitty! There has to be a kitty for soft kitty. 
Though that might not always be true, but yes. As you can tell, I like cats. Crows! Get them! Oh, st we haven't tried the stampede yet. Yes, I don't think the stampede's changed. But the cat, uh, the uh, bombardment of crows, I liked that. Let's catch up with Sarfang. Follow Sarfang to the heart of the city. More spies, we have them cornered. Plan B it is then. Uh, she's got voice lines. Plan B, what's her plan B? Oh, they're all in the smog and smoke. I need to target something first. I need a target. Heal my cat. Get a different target. Get the my kitty. Let's heal you up. Get the birds going. I don't have a target. I don't have a target and I can't see any more targets. Are they all down? I think they are. Uh, oh yes, Southang's gone off this direction. Let's go join him. Let's help him, shall we, Kitty? Oh, he didn't need help. See, Southang's really tough. He doesn't need any help. He's a big tough orc and he's going to deal with the lot on his own. Oh, look, druids. I need to target something first. Slow down, Southang. How can you run so fast with all that heavy armour and that great big axe of yours? Yes, so some of the voice lines are in again and uh, that's a work in progress. They've got some of it in and they're still put it, still adding. Perhaps if we rerun this in a few days there'll be more of the voice lines in. It depends how fast they're uh, getting the voice lines ready, doesn't it? whether the voice actors have uh, recorded their lines yet. I like being with Sarfang though, I think that's a really nice thing to do as the locals. Where have you run off? Oh there he is. Hello Sarfang. Evacuate the remainder of Undercity. Right. Right, so you talk to the, the people around town and you just click on them and tell them to go to the mage portal to leave. That's how you fill that bar up. Right. But it's... Use the portal. Follow Sarfang to battle. Now the marker appears to be here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So follow through. Oh, yes, artwork. Oh, and this is where we meet the Alliance. The Alliance come in through here as well. This is where the Alliance come in and attack Surfang. Oh, Sylvanas. Sylvanas yells, It's time to finish this once and for all, Surfang. Rally your troops. I will prepare the Azerite machine. Sarfang yells, Champions, your war chief commands you. It's time to take arms against the Alliance. Their numbers are strong, but we are stronger. We are the Horde. We crush those who would bring us harm. Loktar Ogar. And there's the new Bane model. I really like the new Bane model. I think that is absolutely phenomenal. He looks really, really good. Hey, Sylvanas. Now, Sylvanas has always been one of my most favourite characters. But with the way it's going, the story seems to be heading for Battle for Azeroth. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen for her. Follow Sarfang. Sarfang appears to be going back into the city, but the marker for the battle is over this way. 
Is that because I stayed looking at the models? Did he run in, run out to bring us out and then run back in? Push them back, break their front line. And this is the battlefield that the Alliance were on. So as the Alliance, there's the ships look from the Alliance. We came in from there with the Alliance and attacked this way. So we are definitely on the opposite side of the battle. It is a mirror. I was hoping it would be a bit of a mirror. But I was wondering in live whether you will play against NPCs only because I don't know whether will this battle become a big PvP free-for-all or will this battle be scripted with NPCs? That is something I'm not sure about. Because traditionally we've always had the choice, haven't we? You PvP or PvE. But with the way this battle's set up, it looks like it might be a PvP event, but I'm hoping it's a PvE event. I don't know. I need a it's a shame to force people to go one way or the other. Defend the Azurite War Machine. Defeat waves of attackers. So again, I think there there should have been a cutscene because that was a, a little... And this is the Azurite War Machine that he attacked as the Horde. The, uh, the, the, uh, sorry, I'm getting this wrong now. As the... the Alliance, we attacked the Azurite War Machine as the Horde. We now have to defend it. We have to defeat three waves of attackers. So we're protecting it and the Alliance have to attack it. So I don't actually see that this can become a PvP event because lock and load. You, you couldn't really script i don't see how you i don't know maybe you can but i don't know I, I think if you try to script it so both sides fight together i'm not sure that that would work well because you, you've got different requirements for both sides haven't you well anyway let's just enjoy it let blizzard worry about whether it's a pvp or a pve event we're just there to enjoy it Let's watch those ground effects. Well, that's a lot of tanks. It definitely feels like a, an actual battle. I don't have a target. This does look like it's going to be an awful lot of fun. And with the cutscenes later into give you that added bit of hit lore and faction specific types of battle speeches and story it's going to be really great i think oh it's this this weird ground effect it's a very strange ground effect it's almost like just little red dots on the f oh did i let my poor little pet die Come back, my pet. Where are you? You're dead, aren't you? I'm going to have to revive you. That's because I'm too busy speculating how things are going to be. It looks. This looks fun. This whole thing looks and feels quite a lot of fun. It's a battle. It's messy. There's lots of things going on. You can't keep track of everything. But I would imagine that uh, that's the kind of atmosphere they're going for, and that it's working really well. It's a lot of fun. I'm so glad I got a chance to play on the Alpha. I've never played on a Blizzard Alpha before. This is it's great to get that experience and that chance to do that. I don't have a target. Get them, kitty. Did you get them all? Good cat. Right, how are we doing? We've defeated two of three waves. There's just one more and Ooh, look at those tanks. Nice. Nice looking tanks. Oh, we seem to be rather outnumbered here. There's an awful lot of uh, red here. Oh, my cat's dead. Oh, we're going to die. We are being overrun I think here let me uh, try to run back to where I see some green can we get my kitty back out let's 
put a regen on the cat. Let's heal myself. And let's pay a little bit more attention to the fight here. Because I'm spending too much attention looking at things not fighting. And that got my poor little kitty dead and nearly me nearly dead too. How are we doing? There's a builder big tank over there. Hey kitty, look, there's another big tank. Let's get him. Is that the end of the wave? These Tauren have got really, really big totems on their backs, haven't they? Look! We defended our, our tank and it's still dead! Use blight, use blight on Alliance forces to drive them away. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to use the blight. Oh dear. What are we going to be doing? Are we really going to be poisoning them? What does it do? Oh, it's oh, it's that spray from the event. The event spray canister thing. <laughs> spray, spray. I'm going to get killed, aren't I? When you come to this, don't do that. <laughs> don't charge in and just spray the thing. You'll get yourself killed. Oh, dear. That was fun, though. But it was the wrong thing to do. But it was fun. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? Right? <laughs> Can I have a catapult instead, please? <laughs> right, can we res some of these guys? Yes, we can res the guys. Right, although we have the spray canister, we can't run through it ourselves as well, though. That's... Uh... Oh, and I can't eat. <laughs> this is really, really difficult. It was difficult on the Alliance side as well because wherever you move that toxin just takes so much of your health off but I couldn't get out of combat to eat but you've actually physically got to go into all that green gunk in order to be able to do the quest I have got my gas mask on, look. Look, look at that. Bug eye gas mask, look at that. So we have got that. Can we try and rescue a few of these guys? Yeah, we can, we can res them. So if they've got the teardrop, you can res them. And then you shoot the bad guys with the canisters. But if you then run through where the, can, where the gunk is, then you'll die too. So <laughs> it's a balancing game between where you walk and what you want. But it's so tempting, as you saw me do, to just run straight in and start spamming the shoot at everybody because it's just so much fun. But if you go and do that, you then get yourself killed. Oh. Okay, why, why are you still running if you've got one of the teardrops? Look, hold still so I can click you. Thank you. Well, that does do some damage to them, but it doesn't... 
didn't get. Stop running away so I can heal you. Look at them running away when I'm trying to heal them. Oh, and I'm dead again. <laughs> there are so many bad guys out there. Of course, on live, you're going to have a lot more people with you, so it'll probably be a lot easier. I'm sure this is designed for a lot more people. But now, you see, the, fur the, um, the longer it happens, the further away they get. Can we finish this? Oh, I haven't got my kitty. Come, kitty. Let's try and rescue this orc. Can we rescue him? And then can we shoot? And can we rescue the soldier? And then we can shoot. And then they should throw the canisters. Oh, my health is really low again. I don't want to die again. No, don't die, don't die. Can we finish it? Can we finish it? Oh, 81%. Come on, we can do this. 83. Oh, oh no, I'm dead again. <laughs> That poison is very, very poisonous. Oh, look, I can get... I'm finally out of combat. I can get my health back up. It's the whole time in there. I was just trapped in combat, so I couldn't stop and eat. And obviously there's no healers out of here. Because I'm here on my own. And I'm sure there's supposed to be lots and lots of people. I wonder how many of the scenario is designed for. See, although I've got the blast canister, I'm supposed to be protected from the blight, look. Yet I'm still dying to it. Interesting. Shall we ride across? We we can get there a little bit quicker. We can get in quicker so we can die quicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody just tried to heal me. Oh, there's some soldiers there. Oh, no, I'm dead again. Let's have a quick look around while we're dead. Look at that green. It's like a green misty fog thing everywhere. Look at that. These siege towers and things. Look at this. It's really nice. Look at this. This is really, really nice. Well, obviously it's not nice. It's a battlefield. But atmospherically and the way it looks is really, really good because it looks sort of how you would expect it to look or how you would envisage a World of Warcraft battlefield looking and I think they've done a really really good job with the uh, graphics the art team have done a really good job oh there's one can I oh that's oh, all right we're done and there would be a cut scene but we're back in Dragon's Soul with Thrall hello Thrall Looking forward to the cinematics when we go live in four months. That's not long, is it? We're on Alpha and it's only four months away for the real thing. Woo! They've got a lot of work to do. Whoa! Oh, oh, no. Right, so we've been put back in the courtyard. Everyone move. Cut leave them off. Me, dark lady. I will lead the reserves in the assault. The Alliance will go no further. I see. Wear it. Meet with Lothamar quickly. Do not I fail me, Nathanos. Right, so they're going to see to the defence. Follow, Follow me. me. Right, Whisper, we're to go with Nathanos. I would actually like my kitty back out, please. Beam, gather the catapults and every apothecary you can find. Send them to the keep at once.
Yes, black color, but where is Sarfang? We mm. create, we'll funnel them through the side of the keep and thin their ranks. With us out in the open, we will outnumber them ten to one. No, Lothamar and I will handle the interlopers. I can't risk leaving the war chief unguarded. You are not to leave her side. It is better if she tells you herself. Now go! Champions, with me! We rally in the keep. Your war chief commands it. Right, so they sent Bane to protect Sylvanas, and we're going with Nathanos to protect the Lord Aron Keep. And they seem to have lost Sarfang. Command our rangers from the flank. Position them on the rooftops. With pleasure, Blightcorner. So Nathanos and L uh, Lothamar are working together. I thought the two of them didn't like each other, but they're definitely working together here. Light throwers, you are our front line. You will create a swath of light between us and the enemy. Soldiers! Fall into position! The Alliance approaches! Well, we've definitely got voice lines for Nathanos, which is really nice for this part for the uh, Horde players. And again, the Alliance, as, as the Alliance we came in from here and as the Horde we are defending, so it is an opposite sort of mirror scenario. Very nice. It is you who is outnumbered. Jaina, that army is enormous. Give the word and I will teleport us to safety. And win. If we turn tail now, we just become prey. No, we'll fight and die if we must Your for what we believe in. King, so those are the lines we heard yesterday Victory on the Alliance side. The Victory for the Forsaken. I must have a look at Nathanos. Oh yes, his nice new model is very nice. Let us even the arts, King Rick. And he's got I one of those. For my time, your Majesty. Megatork, are you ready for battle? And Nathanos has got that coat that everybody's been saying they want. <laughs> oh, so we have to fight Megatork. Champions, with me. In his armor suit, like he had on. The arm suit that he had on the broken shore. And Illyria. Oh, look at that. We're shooting at Illyria. Whoa. We take, that's a lot of damage we're getting shot at. Wow. Right, let's get... The pleasure is all Let's get some of the spells going here. Do not stay close to those tanks. Again, Greymane. Gosh. Wow. This is, oh gosh. I don't have a target. And me. Let's deal with some of these soldiers. The main characters are not going to fall, so we need to. Oh, disoriented. Oh, what did he? That's interesting. Yeah, let's deal with some of the soldiers because the main characters are not going to die, so shooting at them is probably a waste of my time. But it's really, really, it feels really odd having just done this on the Alliance yesterday to suddenly be doing it on the Horde. It's like, oh no, hang on, aren't I supposed to be helping them? <laughs> but I think that this looks really good. I think Blizzard, I've got a really good scenario here. And there we have another cut. Sylvanas has called for the retreat. That seemed that seemed a little bit earlier than I expected, actually. I didn't feel like I did a lot of fighting. Oh, 
Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Nathanos has just stood there in the middle of the thing and all the mobs have just come in and killed me. Where I think there should have been a cutscene. Because after I died it popped up, follow Nathanos to safety. I can't follow Nathanos to safety because he stood still and, 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 and let me get killed. And now I don't know where I am. <laughs> I think something didn't quite go right. Where am I? Where am I supposed to be going? I should have got. Oh, I should have gone out of that door there. I think, shouldn't I? Or should I? Wait, wait, wait. What's Bane? Nathanos. There's Nathanos. I see Nathanos. And Bane. I thought Bane was with the Banshee Queen, though. Why is Bane here? If There's Nathanos. Right, now, um, Nathanos, you said I had to follow you, but then the Alliance people came and killed me and you didn't move. <laughs> That's to do with the timings, though, for where the, um, the cutscenes are going to be, isn't it? There's Sylvanas. Whoa, she moved fast. Sylvanas, keep moving, we're almost there, make haste. Everyone follow Nathanos to the courtyard. The Dark Lady follows Sylvanas. Hi Lord Southang, I had to see it for myself, was this your plan all along? Is this how you meant to achieve victory, this honourless travesty? Sylvanas, honour means nothing to a corpse, Sir Fang. You have the luxury of underestimating death, but it is something which, with, with which I am all intimately familiar. Maybe you don't care if your people die so long as it is honourable, but to me the horde is worth saving. Anyone who disagrees does not deserve to stand amongst us. So die your warrior's death high over Lord Sir Fang. It means little to me. Perhaps I will raise your broken body to serve me once more. Woo! Or perhaps you will have a chance to say hello to your son. Champions with me, you are invited to bear witness to the grand finale. So Sylvanas and Sarfang have just had a falling out, and I'm afraid I think I, I think I support Sarfang more than Sylvanas, which is really sad because I've always liked Sylvanas. I don't like where she's going at the moment. So that explains why we meet Saifang in the courtyard as the Alliance and fight him all on his own because he's fallen out with Sylvanas because he doesn't agree with what she's doing. With all the blight and the attacks and he, he doesn't like what she's doing because he's always been honourable. I, I oh, this is such a shame. I've always liked Sylvanas. Oh no, I've been disconnected. No, it's put me back in the... Oh! I was just going to say, oh, it's put me back. Okay, so we log back in and we are in the Valley of Strength. So it looks like following Sylvanas was the actual end of the scenario. And we would have been given the final cutscene there by the looks of it because... I've been dropped back in Orgrimmar, look, and I can actually turn the quest into Nathanos, so they think that I've finished it. So, that must mean that where it should have been the final sequence, it just got disconnected at the point where the final sequence should have been, and it put me back at the beginning. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that, this episode today with the Battle for Lord Ron from the Horde viewpoint. I thought it was an awful lot of fun. Let me know what you think so far. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what the cutscene sequences are because I think that that will really make that whole scenario thing flow together and be a real alliance and horde deep story of motivation for what's really going on. And I really want to know what Sylvanas is thinking because 
I'm not quite sure that I like where her, her character's going because she's been one of my favourites, so I, I don't want her to turn out to be a bad guy. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode. From Soft Kitty 99 goodbye!